Good, whatever your time zone is. I hope you're having a good whatever your time zone is. But enough of the introductions though, because what we've got served on the slice of life today is, look, I, Toasted Ideas, am a supporter of the Conservative Party. And so it is obvious as to why I would love this type of information, which uh, as a precautionary, I'ma tell you that if you're a supporter of Trudeau, then I'm here to show you today that not only are you disliked by most Canadians for being an utter dumb like, come on, get with the program on the fact that Trudeau is terrible for Canada, but you're also not the majority. In fact, you're more of an anomaly at that rate. It's like if I were to say, nobody likes Trudeau, and then you in a whole crowd of people decided to stand up and say something stupid like, I do, to which then I would hit you with the, then I guess you're a nobody. Because the polling data does not support you being anywhere near the majority. Uh, don't worry though, because being dumb isn't any sort of damnation here. Just um, grab a brain, you know, and get on the correct train that is moving towards making Canada great again. It's just common sense. Though, let us get into this article today. A poll released Sunday by Abacus Data for the Toronto Star suggests that Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and his liberal policies are overwhelmingly unpopular in every region of Canada and among both sexes among all respondents. The survey found 7% of respondents have an impression of Trudeau that is very positive, 17% somewhat negative, 20% neutral, 20% somewhat negative, and 39% very negative. I mean, that just looks completely beautiful to me. Only 7% of people were very positive in comparison to 39% being very negative. The Liberal Party is losing on every front in this. It looks to me as if most Canadians are finally done with being more broke than in the past. I mean, either that, or most Canadians are no longer being bots by watching the big media companies as if they were anything but liberal voices. Uh, which, to break the fourth wall here, it's kind of why I exist. Because Canada desperately needs a conservative voice in our media. Though, carrying on in the article. Those results are remarkably similar by gender, with only 24% of men and 25% of women having an impression of Trudeau on the positive side of the scale, while 61% of men and 57% of women registered a negative impression. Trudeau's approval rating is the lowest in Alberta, where 52% indicated a very negative response and 19% a somewhat negative response. His uh, popularity is highest in Quebec, with 30% on the positive scale and 51% on the negative scale. Atlantic Canada provided similar results with 28% positive and 56% negative. And look, I'm just gonna come out and say it. What the f***? Quebec. Like, on God, I'm about to become a French person and throw more hate towards your culture. Like, what are those numbers doing? I mean, they're good because they're still also dissing on Trudeau, but why are you always the liberal capital of Canada? I'm honestly quite disappointed in you. Even when all of Canada wants Trudeau gone, you are still his favorite province. You guys do realize that Pierre is also French, right? You have someone else who you can vote for, for cultural reasons, like, just be better Quebec and vote for the correct person. Uh, by the way, I'm kinda just kidding. Quebec is fine. Your, po your politics are always questionable, but other than that, y'all are fine. Honestly, I take more issue with Manitoba, but that is because it is the transportation center of all of Canada and has the most god-awful roads imaginable. Anywho, to go more into it, I'm just gonna read a little further and then cut towards the bottom which gets to that juicy juicy of information. Quote, Toronto star columnist Susan Delacourt notes that the last time her newspaper and abacus asked Canadians about their feelings for Trudeau, men were markedly more negative about the Prime Minister than women, and that disparity has vanished in the latest survey. Which, uh, sorry for not getting to that good good yet, but I just want to say that if women 
also don't want you, then you've clearly done something wrong, because women predominantly vote liberals, so I just wanted to note that. So uh, going forth. Colette says the reason for disliking Trudeau provoke a wide range of responses, with many pointing to economic and financial pressures like inflation, the economy in general, and rising costs. He notes that the other reasons for opposing Trudeau are immigration and the rise of immigrants, or bad decisions, or bad policy choices. Many Canadians simply want a change in national leadership. However, Colette observes that there is also a personal side to the negativity towards Trudeau. Many believe he lies, breaks promises, is arrogant, that pops up pretty clearly, and is incompetent. So look, I mean, yeah, Trudeau is all of those things. Last video demonstrated that he doesn't care about young Canadians even though he acts like he does. He said that he would do a lot of things being voted in, but he has done nothing of most things that he said he would do, and he just has no knowledge of how making our economy works. Because he spends money, causes a deficit, and then just tanks our economy for himself being dumb with money. So yeah, he is all of those things. He's a liar, breaks promises, he's terribly incompetent, and arrogant. It is as if someone just told me that sand is sandy. It's like, no way, really? But aside from that, I just really can't believe that there are actual people who still want all of this liberal nonsense to continue in Canada, which is just causing our country to be laughed at by everyone. Good news, though, because there is a solution to go against all of these problems that liberalism has caused. And best yet is that it is a very simple solution. You don't even need to do a whole lot in terms of effort. But that solution is to vote conservative. And that message goes for both Canada and America. Let us bring it home, everyone, by making Canada great again. And if you agree with that, then hit that like button. And if you want to listen more daily news, then hit that subscribe button to join an independent conservative piece of YouTube media that talks about stuff going on all over North America. Either way though, I hope to see you tomorrow. But until then, have a good one.